You should have called the album Effigy of Frank. It would have really... Yeah, yeah. It would have really been sick. It would have been a big fat pitch for me on it. <laughs> I can't talk to you about Frank. Peach crap dirt nap. Frank, I grew up where we went to high school together. He lived around the block from me and hung out with mutual friends. So he was a neighborhood kid. <laughs> You're ridiculous, man. You're a drunk. Love me. What? The ladies love me, though. Funny as shit, man. He's such a character. Hold on. I have to think of my speech. <laughs> I would describe Frank as wanting to quit. Oh, you hear that? That's old age. <laughs> if I wanted to stay home, I won't show up. You'll be already on there, and then somebody's got to sing. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> nice. Do you want to sing? <laughs> Can you imagine if you edited that in? Hold on, hold on. Wait. <laughs> That guy, I can't talk about him. He might come to my house and kill me, dude. He's actually kind of sweet. He's, he's soft. He's Frank, Frank's crazy, you know. He's the nicest guy in the world. He's a fucking freak, though. He's a freak. <laughs> Like he's the same as any other dad, so I don't understand why they're like, oh, it's so cool. Hold on, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's, like, that's, like, that's like Frank is scared right there. I swear to God, I will kill every one of you. Yeah, Frank is scared. Frank is scared. He's hilarious. Like that little hand chop thing you know? Yeah, everybody loves the hand chop. Do any ladies love that? This one girl in Nova Scotia told me I was sexy and so fucking hot because I did the chop. Frank's a fucking nut. There isn't a single night that he doesn't he doesn't crack me up, man. Next thing you know, fucking he's fucking flying off the handle. Could break down the house. Michelin man throwing tires. Ooh! <laughs> Goes grabbing dope boy and Ghostbusters. <laughs> Had a lot of good times with him. Was there with him when he met his wife. She was constantly on me about, you know, about doing the band and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the one that he talks all these songs about. My mom's amazing. But he's so gracious to roll with the punches all the time with. This song goes out to all ex-wives, ex-girlfriends, ex-husbands, ex-boyfriends, everybody that was an ex in your life, they're all pieces of shit. They all deserve the fucking bomb. Surprised she hasn't used it in court against him somewhere along the way. She is. Amazing. Walk out or up in a big fucking giant pile. I will go out and spend the money and rent the wood chipper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's not scary. He's like one of the sweetest guys in the world. He told me not to say that, but I'm saying it anyways. He's very determined to make sure that everything goes right with the band. And uh, he wants to make sure that everything's going on an upward motion. Still funny, still awesome character, oh, great guy. Definitely more serious though about important issues. Nothing really matters. 